Banded mongooses often dig their homes in old termite mounds. First to rise are vigilant young males, in case there's a predator waiting. Then the leaders appear. The dominant female is six-year-old Ela. She's the boss, a matriarch for our family. Top male is Odu, Ela's mate, chief defender of the pack. Among the adults is Torkor, an expert hunter. He joined the Magua pack from another family, and he's still a bit of an outsider. The carefree juveniles spend their time playing. The 18-strong pack begin each morning with a mutual grooming session. Close contact and scent swapping reaffirm bonds. But when Elar gives the call to move, everyone listens and obeys. It's time to find breakfast. They move in a rolling bunch. That way they appear like one large animal to deter predators. And they are always watchful for danger. Boss Ela leads the way. When she chooses a good place, the family spread out to hunt for food. The bandits search frantically for beetles and other insects. They always set a guard. Sentries are soon relieved. After a bug or two, each adult takes a turn on duty. The meat-eating mongooses love poisonous scorpions, beetles and centipedes. Hunter Torkor is always on the lookout for extra protein. Banded mongooses relish eggs. He's after the yolk, and he won't give up. The pheasant-like Franklin loses her clutch this time. Eggs provide a pleasant change from crunchy insects. But Torkor's welcome find doesn't go unnoticed. Eggs are up for grabs by anyone. Odu is on sentry duty. And he spies danger. The group's excitement has attracted a tawny eagle, an expert hunter too, of mongooses. They run for their lives. All except brave Torkor, who stands his ground. Thankfully, the eagle picks easier prey and grabs a bird. Torkor sounds the all clear. After an attack, the bandits reassure each other with a group huddle. The bandits benefit from elephant paths cutting through the thick undergrowth. Ela leads. Her family follow obediently behind. They take a risk crossing open country. Ela's in a hurry to reach their traditional breeding island on the Rufiji River. Our troop travel in formation. Younger members in the middle Older veterans like Odu and Torkor form the rear guard. Ela knows the area well. 
The boss threads the pack through a mass of branches, hard for hostile hunters to penetrate. They drink, even though most of their water comes from their food. Top male, Odu, comes across a puff adder basking in the sun. He gives the call for Snake to warn the others of danger. Torkor carefully guides the pack forwards to investigate. Dense fur offers some protection, but mongooses rely on speed and agility to avoid the fatal fangs. The snake is already warm and ready to strike. Ilar's priority is to keep everyone safe. She orders Torkor and Odu to back off. Her family can't afford to lose its strongest members. Being on the move is dangerous enough. Mongooses often get the better of snakes. They'll look for another opportunity. After the morning's dramas, our family finally reached the safety of Mongoose Love Island. Here, generations of Magua bandits have been conceived, perhaps even Ila herself. Uninvolved in courtship, youngsters enjoy some excited playtime. As dominant female, Ila comes into season a few days before the other females. Both sexes play active roles in mongoose courtship. Now Odu takes the lead, sniffing and biting Ila's neck to show how keen he is. He raises his tail as the final signal. Mating normally lasts about five minutes. Some of the youngsters think Ila and Odu are just having a game. They want to join in. This cheeky teenager's calls let them know he's playing. So despite the unwelcome interruption, the adults don't punish him.